Hello everyone. Today in this video post, I would like to talk about the introduction of a vector. We know there are physical quantities which are used to uh, or understand physics and that physical quantities are basically divided into two categories. We can say the physical quantities like length, velocity, acceleration, force are basically divided into two categories like scalars and vectors. Probably we need to ask first of all why shall we divide a physical quantity into two types. It is simple that some physical quantities gives a complete meaning by saying magnitude. Say for example, if somebody asks what is the weight of a body, we say 70 kilogram. The meaning is complete, there is no further questions that we need to ask. So that physical quantity which can be explained basing on magnitude alone can be treated like a simple scalar, like a numbers. But if somebody say the direction, the address of some house, we have to say not only a magnitude that you have to walk 5 kilometers, we also have to say a direction that you have to walk along east, take a left, take a right. So some physical quantities demands both magnitude as well as direction. Those physical quantities which demands both magnitude and direction are treated like vectors. So, it is not that we are just dividing them, they are actually in need to understand physics and physical quantities. We need vectors because some physical quantities demands not only a magnitude but also a direction. That kind of a physical quantities are called vectors. Now, how do we represent a vector? Vector is simply represented like a arrow with a head like this. The head generally gives the direction. This is the direction of the arrow. It is a graphical representation. And the size of the arrow gives the direction, gives the value of the magnitude. Proportionate size means bigger magnitude means we will draw a bigger line. Smaller magnitude means we will draw a smaller line. So, there is one basic term that you need to know to continue the discussion further called the unit vector. The name itself tells you its unit that means its magnitude, its size is only one unit and it has a specific direction. It has a specific uh, direction. So, unit vector is a vector whose magnitude is 1 and it is having a specific direction. So, say for example, you are representing a vector a bar. I can say it has two parts. It has magnitude shown with a modulus of a. It has direction. Direction is identified by a unit vector a cap. So, the unit vector of any vector is represented as a cap of a given vector. That gives the direction of that particular vector. That means, if you are interested to find out the direction of a given vector, a cap, simply we have to say that vector by its magnitude. Because vector is a combination of both magnitude and direction, what we can say? Vector is having both magnitude and direction divided by modulus means nothing but magnitude. So, this magnitude and this magnitude can be cancelled which gives you only the direction. So, unit vector helps us in identifying the direction of a given vector. That unit vector is an indicative of saying in which direction the given vector is. Say for example, if you say a bar, it is having a certain direction is along x axis. How we are going to say it is along x, x axis is by multiplying with a unit vector i cap. So, here i cap is a unit vector along x axis. So, vector has a magnitude a and its direction is along x axis shown with the i cap. Similarly, if I say a j cap it is along y axis. A is the magnitude 
j is a way of saying that it is along y axis similarly i can also say a k cap which is saying that its magnitude is a and its direction is along z axis so we are using terms like i j and k to identify the direction of a given vector typically i says that the vector is along x direction j says that the vector is along y direction and k says that the vector is along the z direction so as we said vector is having both magnitude and direction magnitude is nothing but the size direction is indicated with the say with the i cap j cap and z k cap which says that they are along x axis y axis and z axis say if there are two vectors let their magnitude is different if their directions are same like this then they are called parallel vectors say their magnitude is different the direction is opposite then you can say that vectors are anti parallel vectors right say if there are two vectors whose magnitude is equal whose direction is also equal then these vectors are called equal vectors they have equal magnitude and equal direction but let us consider a vector like one vector having a certain magnitude specific direction second vector having the same magnitude but opposite direction so if this vector is shown with a bar this vector is shown with minus a bar which is an indication of saying that these two vectors are equal in magnitude but opposite to each other this is called negative vector the first vector is a negative vector of the second vector and the second vector is a negative vector of the first vector so negative vector is a vector whose magnitude is same but opposite to that of the original direction so this is the basics of the vectors so we will continue this discussion further right thank you